hello, hello, and welcome to the show. I'm your presenter for today, and we're going to start with the news. As usual, Trump, he's in the news, but not for being bad this time, but for swallowing a balloon. Let's have a listen to that clip. I would build a great wall, and nobody builds walls better than me, believe me. And I'll build them very inexpensively. I will build a great, great wall on our southern border, and I will have Mexico pay for that wall. Mark my words. Yes, Mexicans are definitely building that wall. Okay, yesterday a reporter, Miss Anley, interviewed Attracta Hem. So, so Attracta, what's your connection to Gory School of Art? Well, I have a long connection. I would have done a PLC course as a mature student back in the uh, beginning of 2000. And over the years, I've done several different types of PLCs. And present day, I'm actually working here for a year. Can you tell us a little bit about the evolution of Gory School of Art? Gory School of Art is an amazing building. It would have started with the Mary Ward, which is just beside us. We're actually in the new building today. Um, and over time, it would have had a lot of PLCs, a level five and a level six, and it would have had a mature students course. And it also caters for special needs. And then in this building here, our new building, we're doing a new documentary and film course. Okay. What's it like being a mature student on the PLC course here? It's very good. It's just very inviting. It's a great course. You can come in if you maybe might be working, so you could just do two days here, or you have the option to come in for a week. Your studio space would be still here for a week. But there's always a great buzz around the building. Gory School of Art is a multimedia art school. Can you tell us what that means? Yes, yeah, especially now this year. Well, our building, our new building is up two years, so we facilitate um, the Apple Mac Trainer course. So if you come in to do the documentary filmmaking, you would use the facilities of a computer room and you would do all your film editing on the Apple Mac computers. It does a lot of, you know, design, sound, audio, so it's a great facilitator for students that want to go down the road of maybe documentary filmmaking. Okay, thank you for joining us. Bye. Okay, so after all that talking, let's have a little ad break with Annie, shall we? If your brushes keep getting messy, then we've got the product for you. Presenting the world's first self-cleaning paintbrush. The paintbrush has a powerful internal suction in the handle that suctions the paint into the handle. You can also replace the handle with the easy removable technology. Also, when you release, you can expect to have a fresh gush of air easily giving you a new hairdo. For ten ninety nine, this is a great deal. You can get this in all leading arts and craft stores around Ireland. So I just loved that ad. So two of our music reporters interviewed a band members. So let's have a listen to them now. I'm joined by Ali from Two as One. How many people are in your band? Two. What instruments do you play in your band? Um, basically just sing. Okay, and... Where, when did you form form a band? About a year ago, maybe. And what was the reason you forming a band? Um, we both just like singing, and we just said would we be form a band, and then we just made a band. Then. How many times have you played on stage with your friend? Um, twice. Are you listening any songs soon? Not right now. How many songs do you know? Um, two. Okay. So, Luca, how long have you been playing? Three years in total, Tag. And how long have you had a band? One year. Why did you form a band in the first place? Well, you see, the Christmas play was coming up and we decided to play in the Christmas play and we came first, so they decided to make us the school band. Okay. And what instruments are in your band? A bass, a guitar... Drums, and that's pretty much it. 
how many players are in your band? Six. How many times have you played on stage? Eight or seven. Are you going to release any songs? Not right now. No. What is the name of your band? We're working on it. Okay. Do you enjoy playing? Yes. Okay, that's all the questions for today. Thank you, Luca. Okay, thanks, Doug. Okay, we're here with another band, and the band member here is Dervla. Hi, Dervla. Hi. How long have you had a band? For nearly a, ne- a year now, I think. And what is the name of your band? Y16. How many players are in your band? Ten. What instruments do you play in your band? There's the piano, the violin, and the guitar. How many times have you played on stage? Twice. How many songs have you recorded so far? Three, so, yeah. Where do you see yourselves in five years? Hopefully as um, a rising star band. And if you all broke away from each other, do you think you'd get back together and play again? I'd say so. Are there any boys in your band, and how many? Um, There are no boys in our band. So it's a girl band? Yes. Okay. So hello, and we have another band member here, so how long have you been playing for? I've been playing for nearly a year. How many members are in your band? There are two members, or drummer left. And what kind of music do you play? We play punk rock. Um, what or who gave you the idea of performing a band? To be honest, I don't actually know. My friend just formed a band and he invited me. Wasn't even asked if I wanted to join a band. What instruments are in your band? There are the bass, guitar and there were the drums. So you are looking for a drummer then? Yeah, we are. Some great musicians musicians there, I hope you all agree. And that was our reporter Tyg and Ali. Um, so now we have an interview by Emily. This is one with her mum, who actually is a past student of the Mary Ward building. Was it a good school? Yes, it was a good school, and it had a good reputation. What were the teachers like? The teachers were a mixture of nuns, there were lay teachers, and there was just one male teacher in the whole school. What subjects did you do? I did English, Irish, maths, French, science, art, commerce for a while. I did history too. What type of school was it? It was all girls. Did you enjoy going to school there? I did, I had a lot of fun, and I think I got a good education. Were there any pupils that lived in the school dormitories? Oh, boarders. They had to stay in all week, except when they sneaked out. (laughs) What sports did you do in PE? In PE, we did hockey mainly and some basketball. Indoors, if the weather was very bad, we sometimes did gymnastics. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to take a little ad break about the weather. Why is it always so rainy in Ireland? We can fix that problem with the new weatherinator. To use, you place an antenna up in the air and it sends an electrical force up into the sky and it changes the weather from heavy thundering rain to big blue skies and baking sun. The Weatherinator will be available in all county council offices around Ireland and will be activated on public request. I love those ads. And now now we have one of the pet vets by our reporter Emily interviewing Ali and a young upcoming future... Vet and Bethany. 
Good afternoon. Nowadays, many people have problems with training their dogs and puppies. Later on, we will be joined with professional dog trainer, Bethany McCarthy. So text in problems you are having with your dog to 089-767-5446 or tweet it to us using the hashtag pet problems. But first, we are joined in studio with Ali, who is on the career path to becoming a vet. Hello, Ali. It's a pleasure, a pleasure to have you here. So I just have a few questions for you. When did you decide to become a vet? What got you interested? Um, a few years ago, um, I started liking doing stuff like that and I started watching on YouTube and stuff. Okay. Do you have any animals of your own? Yes, I have a dog. Who's your inspiration? My dad. What sort of veterinary information do you already know? Only a little bit. What sort of animals would you like to work with? Um, bunny rabbits and s small animals, basically. Okay, thanks for speaking with us, Ali. Now we are joined with Bethany. Hello, Bethany. We have gotten many texts in, so here's one. Jake, a miniature Jack Russell, howls and barks during the night. What should I do? Hi, Emily. Hi. I'm <clears throat> really glad to be here. Now, what should you do? Okay. The best thing to do is to get the dog's attention, okay? So if it's late at night, what you want to do is you want to wake up first, go down to the dog, and you'll need to train the dog over a little while to do this. But you need to get a cup, make sure it's a white cup, fill it with water, go out and throw it on the dog. The dog won't like this. Following night, when it happens again, do it again. Throw it on the dog. The dog will get used to, I don't like this. So eventually what will happen is, and the dog howls at night time, you get the white cup, you don't even have to put the water in it, show it to the dog, and the dog will stop howling. Oh, here's another one. My dog Riley used to always come when called, but now he won't come back when he's off the lead. I'm worried in case he runs onto the road and won't come back. What should I do? Mm-hmm. Well, this one now. This is down to treats. Dogs love treats. So this dog is obviously not used to treats and it's not used to coming back for treats. So when you whistle, it kind of goes, mm, there's more interesting stuff going on over here. So what you want to get it used to is treats. So you whistle, when it comes back, you give it a treat. You whistle again, give it a treat. Keep giving it treats, and then it associates you with treats. So every time it hears a whistle, it goes, not I love you and I'm coming back to you. It's oh, there's a treat over there. Let's go. Darcy, a Labrador. When she's given treats, she's rough and snaps the food out of my hand. This once resulted in my sister's finger being bitten. What should I do? <gasps> well, my God, I'm sorry to hear about that finger. Okay, what you do is you want to train that dog to take the food not out of your hand. Okay, and you want to train that dog so as it just relaxes around you. So first of all, you got to get that dog to sit. And then you put the food in front of it, and you train that dog to stay while the food's in front of it. And then you train that dog on okay for it to take the food. So you stop feeding it out of your hand, and you make sure it takes it from the ground, going okay and then you won't get your hand bitten. But eventually, it'll start being nice to your hand. Okay, thank you for joining us, Bethany. Bye. Do your animals keep running away? Well, we've got the solution for you. Introducing the Animal Keep Safe Things. It is a very powerful, invisible force with a strong effect in which makes the animal bounce back, therefore preventing them from escaping. It makes the same boing noise as a pogo stick. <coughs> It also has a purple and blue haze. You can purchase this item for $9.9999 at selected bakeries on top of glass cake stands. Now I have something called celebrity gossip I want to do. So let's try that. So earlier on the show we were talking about pets. Now we're talking about Kylie Jenner. Who is Kylie Jenner? If you don't know who Kylie Jenner is, you're living under a rock. Well, she's famous for well-being famous. She got a new puppy named Penny as an early birthday present from her friend Jordan Woods. And Norman, her other dog, loves Penny. She also has a new lip kit. And I did some research and found out her wig collection makes a rainbow. Now some old news. Because we were talking about Trump earlier, Melina Trump, Trump's wife, 
copied Michelle Obama's speech from nearly eight years ago, word for word. So I'm here in the studio with Megan Lawler, a local teenager from our go- from Gorey with the big college dreams. And what is your favourite subject? I do Spanish history, ag science and art, along with maths, English and Irish, which are the core subjects. My favourite subject in fifth year was probably English because I had a great teacher, but he retired, so I'm back to absolutely adoring art, like first, second and third year. And can you tell us, Megan, what do you wish to do when you leave community school? I'm actually hoping to come here to Gorey School of Art um, because I, I'm hoping to go up to IADT, but uh, here in Gorey School of Art they offer a portfolio year. So um, I'm hoping to go there and then on to either study art or photography in IADT in Dunleary. So that's your college courses you're doing? Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you, Megan. Now, Dervla, our interesting information reporter, who has some information for us today. Hi, my name is Dervla, and today I'm going to tell you about Disney Easter eggs. For those of you who don't know what Easter eggs are, they're hidden secrets that Disney puts in to see if you have a sharp eye. So our first Easter egg is to do with Big Hero 6. Did you know Hans from Frozen is on a wanted poster in the police station in Big Hero 6? What has he done now? Easter egg number two is Frozen related. Did you notice Rapunzel and Flynn Rider are at the gate at Elsa's coronation? And also in Frozen, Tiana and Naveen are at the courtyard when people start coming in the gate. Thank you for joining me and all the gang for our radio show today. We hope you enjoyed it. I know we did.